Hello, thanks for watching YouTube. This is Michael Kajowski at ESL After Dark. Also, the 396-page uh, suspense novel available at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, uh, BookLocker.com, and other websites. After Dark by Michael Kajowski, a suspense novel, 2015. This, uh, what I'm going to read here, is a feature story that I wrote for journalism school. I graduated from the UW-Madison School of Journalism in 1980. This is from April 9th, 1980. It's about uh, an uh, arcade game called Space Invaders. It's a miniature gold mine revealed by the gleam in the eyes of some of Madison's bar and restaurant owners and their employees. The owners won't say how much money it makes and probably don't know how many customers it attracts, but they and their employees have been astonished by its popularity. The first week that we got the deluxe Space Invaders game, the coin box was so full of money that no more quarters could fit into it. Michael St. John, a bartender at the pub, 522 State Street, said. He described it as the most popular game in the world and said that entrepreneurs probably make a fortune off it. Old people, young people, attorneys, and professors stand in line for it, Thomas Myers said. Myers, who worked at the Brat House, 603 State Street, for about one year, also said that he once saw an older man put down eight quarters on the game, indicating that he wanted to reserve eight consecutive games. At the Wizard of Oz game room in the University Square Mall, middle-aged adults, college students, and children stand in line for up to 15 minutes, peering over shoulders while nervously waiting for the chance to pay a quarter and play one game of Space Invaders, the chance to fire their lasers and save the imaginary planet, parentheses, and perhaps their egos, from the attacking green gremlins who threaten to end the game. The game itself is housed in a plastic structure about the size of a filing cabinet. It has grisly purple monsters painted on its sides and a television screen in its belly. When a quarter is deposited, 50 tiny green figures appear, firing lasers while inching toward a cratered planet. The player tries to defend himself and the planet as long as possible with three to five laser-equipped flying saucers. If he kills all 50, then 50 more appear and so on until he is finally destroyed. According to John Christensen, a bartender at the Bear's Den, 321 North Francis Street, some people go there to play the game because they don't have to wait in line like at the plaza or the pub. Some people come just to play. They put out four quarters and don't even buy a drink. Godfather's, a restaurant at the corner of Park Street and University Avenue, has three electronic games. Space Invaders is by far the most popular of the three, said employee Richard Dumas. He added that some people come into the restaurant just to play the game and buy food or drinks so they can stay. The owner of the Bears Den, Samuel Jirasi, said, it's the most popular game besides pool and makes more money than pinball games. When asked how much money it makes, Jawasi just laughed, refusing to say. Waiters, waitresses, and bartenders at various businesses say that the game is leased from distributors and that the owners and distributors split the income 50-50. Some estimated that each machine takes in between $30 and $50 per day depending on the popularity of the bar, restaurant, or game room. Using the $30 figure, that would amount to an annual income of almost $11,000 for each machine, leaving the owners with about one half of that. In Madison, the two major distributors of Space Invaders are Creative Profits Distributors, 1960 Atwood Avenue, and Modern Specialty Company Incorporated, 405 North Broom Street. Terry Volk of Creative Profits said that the game was in greater demand one year ago than it is now, and that they have located 48 Space Invaders games in Madison. 
He also said that in Japan, where the game was invented, about 250,000 have been leased. Unlike the upright version in most Madison businesses, the Japanese Space Invaders television screen is horizontally housed in a glass cocktail table. According to Alan Zacharias of Midwest Specialties, Space Invaders is still the hottest game around, but a new electronic game called Asteroids is becoming just as popular. Vogue said that there is no waiting list for those wishing to lease the game. Zacharias said there is a two to three week wait and St. John of the pub said there is a five to six month delay because the game is so popular. Apparently the game isn't sold on home video cassettes yet, although there is speculation that it will be. A friend of mine has one at home, Myers said. It's an amazing game because it's the best of the electronic space age games. It's more fun than Breakout, another popular electronic game. Virtually everyone who plays it regularly knows their high score, points are scored for killing invaders, and describes the game as addicting. I didn't play it until I started working at the Bears Den, said Christensen, whose high score is 5,580, better than average. It requires skill and knowledge, he said. According to Demaz, it's popular because it's the only game that requires a developed skill. There's always room for improvement. Your skill determines how long you'll play and whether or not you'll get your money's worth, said Dumas, an engineering student. Several regulars come in here, the pub, buy only one Pepsi and spend $2 to $4 on Space Invaders every day, St. John said. I think the attraction is the kill or be killed challenge. It's the only game that attacks you, he said. I'm shaking after I've played three or four games in a row. People have been known to come in here and not do anything except exchange dollars for quarters to play Space Invaders, said Norman Hansen, a bartender at the Wisconsin Club, 704 University Avenue. He also said that he once spent $3 on the game in seven hours. You don't have to spend more quarters if you get good at it, said Craig Prothero while waiting in line at the Wizard of Oz game room. Like other games, there are winners and losers in Space Invaders. The good losers get to play longer and take more invaders with them when they finally go down, but the bad losers are immediately humiliated and killed. Who wins? The person who totes all those quarters to the bank is a likely suspect. Uh, this is Michael, ESL After Dark. Those noodles are really boiling very well. They're hot and uh, so they're really, uh, really cooking. I'm going to take them off here now and it's probably about five minutes. It's elbow macaroni that can go in something like that. That is a bowl of uh, soup or in cheese of course cheese macaroni now i've taken the elbow macaroni off there and i've got it uh, simmering so the next thing you do is you use your spatula to clear the water out of there and drain it a little into the sink i'm going to cut corners here and just go a little fast and pour some of the water out without pouring the elbow macaroni out which will taste good. Hello, this is Michael at ESL After Dark. I'm not in China at the moment teaching English. I'm in Florida in USA. You know, a lot of people ask me when you're traveling in your car, how do you brush your teeth? Well, you take a toothbrush like this, you dip it in your cup of water, and you brush your teeth. like that and then what you do you pick up your cup of water and instead of spitting it out in the parking lot you swallow it you swish it around in your mouth and you swallow your cup of water and now you have clean healthy teeth that are not rotting into oblivion <laughs>